My name is Beverly and I love to draw cats. I'm a professional artist and working from photographs, I've drawn cats from all over the world. I create portraits in colored pencil and then share the story of each cat and the art process here on video. <laughs> Today I'm drawing Frankie, a senior cat who has capitalized on the powers of Tortitude and Siamese extroversion to establish herself as queen over her household. She and her human Samantha, a professional pet sitter, live in Austin, Texas. She comes by her unusual appearance from being a cross between two different varieties of Siamese, a red point and a seal point, resulting in a torty point Siamese. Samantha was working on her business degree in Massachusetts just before Frankie came into her life. Since she wasn't allowed to have pets in her college dorm, she looked for an apartment and moved in with her roommate. In 2005, her roommate's mother, who was trying her hand at breeding Siamese, gave Frankie to Samantha for free because the kitten's markings were considered too subtle. Samantha took Frankie with her to several places after she graduated, moving to New York City for a short time and returning to Massachusetts where she adopted a little companion for Frankie in 2010 and named him Beans. After she flew them to Austin to live, Samantha added Billy to the household. Frankie is a feisty girl who keeps Beans and Billy in line with just a look or a well-placed swat. True to her Siamese breeding, Frankie is extremely vocal and loves, as Samantha says, to spread the word of her gospel by singing the songs of her people especially when she feels Billy and Beans need to show more respect and appreciation. She's also extremely vocal when she's hungry. If you've ever been around a Siamese for any period of time, you know they won't stand for being ignored. At night, Frankie sleeps curled up like a cinnamon bun on her pusheen bed, but she's also fond of sleeping in the spot that would normally be for Samantha's boyfriend. Now and then, he comes to bed after Frankie and has to contort around her because she refuses to move for him. During the day, she gets spoiled with lots of kisses and pets, but always makes it clear when she's had enough. Her favorite toys are a miniature Furby and a Nerf foam banana. She really loves crinkly toys, too, which she will lick and lick. She loves to play a game with Samantha's boyfriend called batting practice, where she'll plant herself in her favorite spot on the kitchen table. The boyfriend will squish around one of the crinkly toys so it makes noise and throw it in the air. As soon as it lands on the table, Frankie will chase after it and push it over the edge triumphantly. To suit her aristocratic demeanor, she wears a pretty pink rhinestone collar. Late at night, when she's done eating her snack, Frankie will stand on the dining room table and summon Sam and her boyfriend from the bed with a meow, meow, meow until one of them comes to give her a lift from the table to their bedroom. Sure, she can walk fine, but it's been more fun to train her humans to do it. Samantha's friends all think she and Frankie are cut from the same cloth. They're both strong, unafraid, and resilient. In all the living situations they've been in, Frankie has always adapted to the other housemates' animals, taking them in as family, but always establishing herself as the leader. As she heads into her senior years, She's had a few bad teeth and a benign mass removed, but she's still going strong, likely thanks to her commanding personality. Here's the finished portrait. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. To find out how to commission a portrait and video for your cat, visit my website, ilovetodrawcats.com.